Yes, uh, could you give some examples of some companies who refuse to locate or relocate in Arizona because of the uh, Arizona law on immigrants? Sure. Um, there's um, um, uh, there is a, a, a company uh, called um, uh, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Um, some, uh, Photowadia, um, which is an investor in renewable energy plants. And Arizona, rumor has it, has a lot of sun. And um, uh, it's, it should be a place where companies come to invest money in renewable energy plants. Well, Photowadia is one of the largest investors on the planet Earth in renewable energy plants. And they have refused to spend a dime in Arizona because of these types of laws and uh, so, some other state policies. There is a, um, a, uh, a solar manufacturing company that, uh, drawing a blank on the name right now, that has decided to come here to Texas um, because of what's doing in Arizona. Now, it, it, it would be interesting to see what they're going to say now that these types of bills are actually um, uh, being seriously discussed here in Texas, how that's going to impact their decision. Um, but there are a lot of companies, um, and I'd be happy to provide you a list of names, yeah. that, uh, that have said that they're not coming to Arizona simply because they don't want to expose their executives or expose their employees who may come from the native country of the company, China being one of them, uh, simply because they don't want to run that risk of having them profile. Uh, so I guess, um, you know, many of the states here depend uh, and try to attract uh, uh, people from other countries, legal aliens, uh, to come in here because of the expertise, because of the knowledge. Uh, have this had an impact in Arizona? Absolutely it has. Um, there have been a couple of stories recently in the, uh, in the media in Arizona where hospitals are having trouble finding doctors. Um, there are universities that have tried to attract uh, scholars to their faculty uh, who have basically been told that uh, Arizona is, is, not on the, uh, is not on their list. There was a recent start story in the Wall Street Journal where um, the, the immediate past Intel CEO said that if uh, Intel were making the decision to uh, build a fabrication plant, and that's in Channel, Arizona now, Arizona wouldn't even be on the list, wouldn't even be considered. And what about the unemployment? Why, why did it spike up? Well, it's, um, uh, it's actually pretty simple. These people are consumers. You cannot kick 150,000 people out of any economy and not feel it. Um, they buy from stores. They buy gasoline. They buy clothing. They buy food. Um, these businesses all hire people, and when the markets collapse, those businesses collapse. Uh, uh, CNN did a story that I helped them with that uh, we actually drove down a, a lot of streets in Mesa, Arizona, and just showed strip malls empty, uh, apartment complexes that used to be uh, running at 90% or, or more uh, occupancy are now fenced off and closed. Um, it's contributed to the housing problem. It's contributed to the foreclosure issue. Uh, and there are a number of studies that show that it has made the recession in Arizona worse. In fact, unemployment uh, is higher in Arizona than in other states uh, simply because of this fact. And, you know, um I know that uh, the construction industry and uh, the, um, especially the agriculture industry, uh, hires a lot of people who are maybe in this country illegally. Uh, but that type of work, uh, really, I don't see any uh, too many American citizens who want to do that type of work. What has been the impact on the ag agriculture community? Well, uh, uh, there have been a lot, and it's not just in Arizona. I can uh, tell you some stories from uh, some other states too. Um, Besides the, the impact of the, the freeze and not being able to have the workers to bring in the crop, uh, farmers have had to deal with the, the reality that they don't know what type of labor they're going to have during planting season or during harvest season. Uh, you have uh, them now at that point, they're sort of in a lose-lose situation because if they don't plant enough, um, and they do have the labor that they could have had, uh, they'll lose money because they didn't produce enough. If they plant too much, they, it winds up wilting in the fields and nobody buys wilted uh, lettuce. But another example I'll give you is uh, I testified up in Kansas and the, uh, the uh, Canvas livestock 
uh, Association and their members basically told their legislature that, look, if you guys are serious about doing this, these types of bills um, and taking away our only source of labor, um, um, we're going to have to move to another state or we're going to have to move to Mexico where we can get the labor. It's a serious problem. As, as I said in my remarks, there, there are some jobs that not enough Americans will do. It's a reality. And uh, we can say that it's not true all we want, but it's something that businesses, particularly in agriculture and construction, um, have to deal with. And in Arizona, have there been problems with racial profiling? Uh, I would say yes. And I, I think the fact that um, uh, the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office is being investigated by the Justice Department uh, starting in the Bush administration for racial profiling uh, and some of the stories that have just come out recently uh, that really a problem and there are, there are organizations throughout the state that, that follow this type of stuff that can provide many examples of uh, what uh, they believe is racial profiling. And I guess uh, the business community in Arizona initially were neutral on this bill? They were. And uh, what Not, anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. Not anymore. Not um, anymore. In fact, um, uh, we had a conference in the beginning of May that we called the Arizona Immigration Solutions Conference. And it was co-sponsored by uh, a business coalition called the Real Arizona Coalition, as well as uh, the faith community and uh, uh, my organization, Arizona Employers for Immigration Reform. We had Glenn Hammer, who was the president of the Arizona Chamber of Commerce and Industry, who has testified uh, uh, against the Ari Arizona's uh, immigration bills in the last session um, and was uh, one of the uh, proponents of the 60 CEO letter that was sent to the legislature uh, asking them to stop passing these bills because it's not good for our economy. Um, he spoke at the conference. We had Barry Broom, who is the president of the Greater Phoenix Economic Council. Um, he was there at the conference. Um, uh, the business community has, has woken up and, it, you know, it's, it's one thing to, uh, there's this old saying that if you do the same thing over and over and expect different results, it's sort of a definition of insanity. Well, I think the business community has woken up that we've been trying to do this stuff for the last several years in Arizona and it doesn't work. And at some point in time, we just have to stop doing what we've been doing and start looking for better solutions. One more question, and that is, uh, I guess Arizona adopted the... Uh, uh, employment verification system? Yes. And uh, how has the BIS committee handled that? Have they been sued? or there any problems? Or? Well, there are, um, I, I think for most businesses, it, it really depends on the size of the business. Some of them deal with it uh, more readily than, than others. Um, we know there have been many problems with the, the data within the system. Uh, there are certain types of uh, legal um, uh, naturalized citizens who don't always appear in the database. And so you get a lot of false, uh, false negatives. And that creates a problem for the employer. It also creates, um, uh, the, in the minds of many people, uh, this notion that if, um, why should I talk to anybody of color? Because they might not be here, they might not be here legally. And do I want to run the risk of losing my business license um, as a result of this? So it's, there's, there's, there are problems with the system, and uh, we've been trying for several years now to try and get those addressed. It's a very slow process because a lot of people get caught up in the, in the politics of this type of argument. Um, uh, but like I said, we understand there's a problem. We understand that there are businesses who, who game the system. You know, that's almost as American as apple pie. Um, but the, the fact of the matter is, is that these ways don't work. And we need to, we need to find the better ways. And we, we think we know what some of them are. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.